Hello, in this video, I'll be teaching you what called inversions are. Okay, um, I'll be teaching you their types and why they are so important um, in music. So now, what are inversions? Now, inversions is simply um, the different ways the notes of a chord can be arranged relative to one another. Okay, so for instance, um, this is your C major chord. You know that it's made up of C, E, and G. Okay. So, meaning that any chord that consists of C, your E, and your G is your C major chord, okay? So, we can invert this chord, that is, rearrange the notes order, okay? So, we can take this bass note, which is the root notes, and play it in the upper octave. So, it becomes something like this. So, you can see this is now E, G, and C. So, the arrangement, remember the first one was C, E, G, now it's E, G, C. So, the arrangement have changed. So, this this is what we this is literally what we call inversion okay so just rearranging the notes in different order so we can still arrange it in another order we can take this notes again to the upper octave then it's going to be like this this is g c and e okay so this is another inversion okay so it's simply the different ways um the notes of a chord can be arranged across various octaves on the piano so it's also worth knowing that any chord can be inverted. So forget about the fact that I use the only major chord. We have um, different type of chord. We have your minor chord, for instance, this is F minor. We have your minor chord. We have your um, augmented chord. We have your suspended chords. We have your dominant seventh chord, and many of them, okay? Even your extended chord, like your major seventh, um, your seventh chord, your ninth, and so on. So all these chords can be inverted, okay? So. All you just need to know is that you need to identify the notes that make up that chord and rearrange them in different order um, to form inversions, okay? So for instance, um, let's take um, maybe your major seventh, that's your extended chord. So this is C major seventh, you know it's made up of four notes, okay? So we can rearrange these notes in another order. So we can just, instead of playing this this way, we can take this C, um, okay? We can take this C to the higher octave. And play something like this so you can see this is still c major seventh because it's contained c e g and b okay so it doesn't matter the um the way it is arranged in the octave or on the piano all you need to know is the constituent of a chord so just know um, the notes that can that make a chord a particular chord okay that, and just alter the arrangement to form the inversions so even your minor chord for instance your c minor chord can be inverted so this I can just play it in the upper octave. I've changed the arrangements, you understand? But remember, the notes are still the same, but the arrangements have been changed or altered. This is another arrangement of your C minor chord. For instance, your G diminished chord. I can alter the arrangement of the chord. So something like this. So you can see, um, this, the notes that is made up, that is contained in this chord, is also the notes in this chord. So the arrangement just differ. So this is simply what we call inversions. Okay. Now we have um, different types of inversions. Okay, and these types is really really depending on the number of notes that make up that chord. So for instance, your triad chord, like your major chord, for instance, C major, can be inverted um, two times. Okay, so we can. Um, there are two possible ways we can rearrange this the notes or the constituent of this chord before we get this original shape back. So that's for your triads. So if your chord contains like four notes, we can invert it three times, okay? Before we can get back this shape. So let me demonstrate this so that you understand. For instance, this is your C major chord. So the possible ways you can rearrange this chord before we get back to this um, pattern again is this. So we can bring this bass notes, shift it to the upper octave, and this becomes our first inversion, okay? So whenever the um, root note of the chord, remember the root note of a chord is the notes that give the chord its identity. So the root note of this chord is C, is key C. And that's why the chord is called C major chord, okay? So um, when the root note is at the higher octave, it's called um, first inversion, okay? So this is the root position, and we inverted the chord the first time. So um, if we should take the middle notes, when the middle notes is in the upper octave, that's this, it becomes second inversion, okay? So I'm just using major chord as demonstration. It applies to both minor chord, diminished chord, and so on, okay? So just get the concept. So these are your second inversion, and if we should bring these notes back again to this place, we've gotten this shape. Remember, this 
um, chord um, note arrangement is the same thing we have here, okay? So they are similar. So we have first inversion, second inversion, and back to our root position. So now remember, this is just restricted to triad, okay? So let's treat chord um, that contain four notes. So remember what I said, if the chord um, contain four notes, it can be inverted four times, I'm um, sorry, three times. So for instance, C major chord, um, C major seventh chord is an example of a chord that contains four notes. That's your standard chord. So remember, this is C, E, G, and B. So we're going to alter the arrangement. We can take this root note to this upper octave. So this is one inversion. First inversion, we've inverted it the first time. So you see the arrangements of the notes of the chord has changed. So this first inversion. So which other way can we um, rearrange these notes? We can take this to the upper octave to form something like this. So this is still um, our C major 7th chord in second inversion. So we can bring these notes to this place again. So this is a C major 7th third inversion. And we can bring this E and this B to this upper octave again and play this. So you can see all the inversions contain the same notes but just the pattern of arrangement is what differs. Now, why are inversions very, very important in music, okay? Why is it important when playing the piano now? Remember, when going from, when transiting in chord progressions, for instance, if we're going from, let's say, our C major chord to our, let's say, F major chord. So you can see, um, so I start from C major chord and travel through a distance of, to F major chord. So you can see the gap in which we traveled, the chord transition gap is too much. So it's kind of like stressful to be, and moving your hand all around the piano to be transiting through chords, okay? So inversion is a um, kind of solution to this problem. So instead of maybe going from our C major chord, traveling all the way to our F major chord, it's pretty stressful. So instead of going from my C major chord and transiting to my F major chord, which is stressful, I can just do something like this. This is C major chord. So if I want to go to my F major chord, I can just play the second inversion. So this is F major chord. You can see this is pretty simple down going from this, traveling all the way to this. Understand, it's kind of stressful. So it makes it easy to transit chords. And this same thing applies, for instance, we're going to my C major chord, to my G major chord. This is pretty more stressful. So I can just use the second and um, first inversion of the G major chord. That is just this, playing this. So you can see um, the distance of between this C major chord and this second inversion of, um, first inversion of my G major chord is very, is much more closer, okay, than going from this all over to this which is pretty much stressful. Another important is inversions can really help to improve your the sound of the your basic triad chord. So you can see, this uh, this is uh, my C uh, major triad chord for instance. You see it contains C, E, G. So if I alter the note arrangement, the sound um, kind of changed, though it's the same chord, okay? But you can see it have like, the inversions of C major chord have different sounds, okay? So you can just, even if you are still, um, maintaining a single chord, you can just, play around with different inversions to create um, different sounds, okay? So inversions can really help to improve your sound of your chord, your basic triad chord, okay? So um, we'll stop here. I hope you find value in this video. If you learned something new, do it to like and subscribe to my channel um, for more videos like this, okay? So bye.